uh, always have a backup plan. So when you're doing your experiment here, I say, I think this is the plan. It could be just a patient, a patient with an infection. This is my plan. I'm going to give this treatment to this patient. Uh, but also think of a backup plan. If that doesn't work, next Monday, uh, my backup plan is I'm going to give this thing, this treatment, or send the patient off for surgery. So you have the backup plan ready. Uh, and that's important because otherwise the, the patient takes the treatment and it didn't work and the patient comes back and he says, doctor, it didn't work. And you say, oh, no. You know, so, no, but instead you say, don't worry. This got a really good plan for tomorrow. And then so that you should do that in research uh, and also in your clinical practice. Always have a plan in case plan number one doesn't succeed and the patients will appreciate it.